Viruses are unique entities that straddle the line between the living and the non-living. Unlike human cells, which are very, very complex and rely on complex metabolic processes to maintain their structure and function, viruses are just simply much, much simpler. So when a virus is frozen, their metabolic process slows down to a near halt, and this dormancy allows them to withstand the extreme conditions for long, long periods of time. Additionally, the lack of cellular machinery inside of the virus means that they're less susceptible to damage from freezing. So the bottom line is viruses are just much, much simpler. They don't have the complex machinery that are inside of a mammal cell, for instance. And so when they're frozen, they're able to slow their metabolic process down to the point where nothing is really happening. And when they're reanimated, they just pick up where they left off. On the other hand, human cells are highly dependent on a delicate balance of internal processes to survive. So when exposed to freezing temperatures, the water inside the human cells can form ice crystals which can disrupt cellular structures and lead to cell death. 